Hi you. I'm Thomas Medina and the world has changed so much in the last month, it's a lot to take in. I hope you're staying and playing it safe, smiling and thinking about the good things. You know, your mind has a very good privacy filter. At any time, you can think about any good things that you like. I'm going to think about something now. <laughs> Chromebooks are meaningless in comparison to a lot of what's going on at the moment, but if you're watching this, they're likely one of your good things. And it's been a good month in Chrome news, nothing major, but lots of great little tidbits. So let's chat about some of the more interesting ones now. But first, let's take a moment to talk about my sponsor. Okay, moving on. Chrome OS version 80 arrived at the start of the month, and Crostini containers were indeed updated from Stretch to Buster, but only for new containers. So if you want this nice but inessential update, and you turned on Linux before version 80 arrived, what you're gonna need to do is delete Crostini and make it again. Version 80 also brought the ability to sideload Android apps, though it's not a very accessible process, some improvements to the tablet UI, and a few other itty bitty tidbits. And then a couple of weeks ago, all future Chrome releases were put on pause indefinitely understandably what with one thing and another. But then, get this, a week later, big twist. They hit resume. I assume with a bunch of developers now transitioned to working from home. But Chrome development is resumed with some changes. The big one being, Chrome OS version 82 is never gonna come. Never, not ever. Never ever and stop asking for it. I have put my foot down. But that's okay because version 83 is just around the corner. Yes, what with certain goings-ons, Google have decided to skip version 82, which was scheduled to hit the stable channel in about a month's time and just work on version 83. Now 82 was going to be a pretty substantial Chrome OS release. And if all of its features are gonna get rolled into version 83, which it looks like they probably will be, then version 83 could be one of the biggest Chrome OS releases of all time. Time, time, time. What's inside it? Well, a bunch. First up, we've got a nicer introduction process for starting up new Chromebooks, some pretty nice touchscreen navigation improvements, a new extension toolbar, which gives you greater control over which ones are seen and hidden, a prettier, more user-friendly terminal, a redesign for the Files app. This is probably my favorite part. It'll look cleaner and more like the rest of Chrome OS. But that's a lot of white. Why white? Why to There used to be a flag a few months ago where if you turned it on, it would turn all of the Chrome OS UI dark, but it's disappeared now. I don't know where it's gone. Where's it gone? Alan, Alan. So I hope some kind of new dark mode is firmly on the agenda. We may also be getting two page side-by-side -side PDF viewing and a print management app for printing and scanning. It's a marvel that we've gone this long without such a thing. Chrome Unboxed has done a longer video detailing some of these changes, link down below. Anytime they mention Chrome OS 82, you can basically think in your head, Chrome OS 83. All of this is on the dev channel today and may or may not, but hopefully will be included when Chrome OS 83 hits the stable channel in late May. But well, that's a little while away, isn't it? In the meantime, Chrome OS 81 should jump from beta to stable in about a week's time, about a week into April, and it'll bring Linux disk resizing and improved Bluetooth pairing. Swish. In other news, it looks like Chrome OS is gaining support for eight core CPUs. It's a no brainer, really. Up and up, swish. In other other news, Google I.O. is not happening at all this year. What with, you know. First they canceled the physical event, but now they've canceled the whole thing altogether. Hopefully we still see what announcements Google have to share, just in some other way, maybe on a blog post. I love a simple blog post. Swish, now let's talk about the unreleased, soon to be popular devices we've been tracking. That bloody excellent looking Samsung Galaxy Chromebook is going to release on April 6th. That's at a couple of US retailers. So if you're interested and you're in the UK or Australia or somewhere else, we're gonna to have to wait and see how long it takes to start circulating a little wider. Or offer international shipping on Amazon. Again, it's a high price tag. Oh, but I'm the most advanced over the top Chromebook there is. Oh, good for you. The Asus C436 is also practically here. Looks like it's ready to order from some places. Again, that's in the US. All the rest of us just gotta 
peep. Chrome Unboxed already has one of these, so if you want, you can watch them unbox it and stick their recently washed, I'm sure, hands all over it. And I'm sure very soon we'll see some great comparisons between the Asus and the Samsung. It'll be interesting to put them side by side. The Lenovo Flex 5 is the third Chromebook that's likely to make a big splash soon. We've previously been given a release date of June for this one, but it's already appearing on Amazon, so it might come out a little sooner. This one looks like a solid all-rounder at a great price. Hmm, <gasps> story time. There's a lot of concern about digital privacy out there these days, and rightly so. And if you're interested in installing the privacy-focused Tor browser on your Chromebook, then Glamorous Gabriel has you covered over at Chrome Unboxed. It just takes a few steps using the Linux terminal. It's worth noting there's also an Android app for the Tor browser, so if you don't need all the bells and whistles of the desktop version, just download the Android app and you're good to go. And just like with Flatpaks last month, this month Glamorous Gabriel covered how to install app images on your Chromebook. He's making Crostini masters out of us all. And finally, here's a quick story for me. That's right, I'm going to tell you a story. From my heart. Settle in, children. Settle down. Children, there's a great Chrome extension that I use basically every day, and it's come to my attention recently that a lot of people don't know about it. It's the Picture in Picture extension. It allows me to chuck YouTube or Netflix or any video down to the side of the screen while I do other things. It's absolutely wonderful, and if you don't have it, link in the description. Comment time. Some of these comments are from those of you who are still subscribed to my channel after the live streams I did this week. Resilient. Rob Holt says, Firstly, love your videos. Not only are they informative, but they invariably make me smile. Smiley face. Yep, that's all I need to read of that comment. A perfect phone call. I'm in comment. Thanks, Rob. Nathaniel Keeley says, Thomas, you look so inexplicably handsome in this video. I couldn't focus on the Chromebooks. I was just fixated on you the whole time. Nathaniel, that's really understandable and highly relatable. All I can say is, I'm sorry. Lindfein Giga writes, You are my savior! Yes. Superstar01 says, Border Dell Chromebook! Worst decision I've ever made! Worst decision you've ever made. Ever. You're doing all right then, I reckon. TikTok Dance Galore rides a fine line saying, Hate your hair, smiley face. No, I don't. I cannot find a bad thing to say on you. Thank you for the tip. I will definitely enjoy Audacity in my Dell. Intel. What? You like your Dell? Wasn't getting it the worst decision you ever made? I'm baffled. Now we've got a comment from one of this week's live streams. Who have we got here? We've got Sebastian Du Bois. That's how I pronounce it because I'm 100% lad. Try as I may, I simply can't get up at 4.30am to watch this live. Where's your commitment? Who's are any of you really genuinely committed to this YouTube channel yet? I was thinking about starting a cult, but nope, I don't think you're ready. Dale Caldwell says, Ah yes, adorable you are. I tried to convince the whole world to watch your YouTube channel when I made a video called Chromebook Love, but I think it only got 14 views. Anyway, here in the US of A, I have experimented a bit with GeForce Now on my Chromebook, and it's kinda hit or miss. You're not missing much yet. Dale's YouTube channel is an absolute delight. Do check it out. I'm about to take a little nap because, you know, life. Guys, that's March. Yes, April is one of my favorite months of the year. So until then, catch ya and take magnificent care.